Okay, good morning everybody. Good morning. Oh, goodness. Definitely gotta get a new mic. Okay, good morning everybody. Good morning. Gotta get a new mic holder. Okay, uh, good morning, everybody. Nail in a bat was the first person here. Good morning to you. Good morning to everybody else be, uh, viewing. Uh, it seems to get a lot of mic holder. I think I lost my like, hey, uh, uh, 20. Nail in a bat was the first person here. Good morning to you. This, I think I lost 20 subscribers or 15, something like that. Um, I don't know if I think YouTube did a purge because it happened rapidly. There probably were some dead subs. Probably a lot of dead subs, but uh, we're going to talk about the news at hand today. Um, I would have just kept playing The Last of Us. I might actually play The Last of Us, and it just won't be live stream. Don't know how you guys care about that, um, but the news at hand is very important. Uh, so I'm going to try to get started with that pretty soon. Okay, one second. Okay, looks like that's good, great, let's open up the blog, let's open up all of this, um, that's another good place to get my news, okay, that, that, and Twitter. Well, we can't go wrong with Twitter. It's 10 o'clock in the morning. Hmm. It's not good, but I um. I like the current climate. I will say that. I like the current climate because obviously it doesn't excuse anything that happened with me in the beginning of the year. Uh, but anybody that makes it seem like it's just one person is a complete joke. Uh, so, so I'm just going to say that. Um, there's a lot of uh, females that are coming out about sexual harassment at their workplace um, by you know mixer I'm just gonna drop names it seems like IGN this lady from IGN came out eight hours ago uh, the fact of the matter is we already knew it it's just they're exposing it so like I said um, a lot of Xbox centric youtubers and uh, uh, individuals that only hang out on Twitter, they, they targeted me, uh, and in one of the, probably one of the worst ways ever, and they, basically, they were painting a picture, picture that I was some evil demon, uh, and that it was only me, nobody else has ever did anything, uh, like that, but now we're finding out that a lot of people have done stuff like that, uh, that's one of the reasons why we're here, we're here to talk, um, what's going on, vegan, I'm sorry, it's just so early today, 
Uh, I, I mean, I woke up on time and I got some good sleep. I, I went to sleep around one, so I was I did pretty good today. Um, <laughs> uh, of course. Um, yeah, but this shit is uh, this shit is fucking crazy. What's going on, Vitter? How you doing, buddy? Um, if you need me to change that profile picture. Let me know. I can um, I can kind of fit that to a better circle so your name can be seen more. So I make it I make it smaller on the uh, on that wallpaper. I still have it on my phone. So just let me know if you need alterations. That'll be don't worry, no price. Um, yeah. So we're talking right now. The chat looks good. No um, no repeats on that. So I'm I'm just gonna make sure we look around the news real quick. Um, I'm supposed to be doing a gummy bear unboxing, and I'm going to eat it with a fork and a knife. So since we get, like, the, um, of course, 20 people, I'm going to do that. Let me make sure that we have a right screen for the unboxing, which I think I deleted. Yes, I think I deleted that. Sharp red, no. Um, that one, no. Mm -mm, no. What about this one? What's this one do? Nope, that's Twitch. What's this one? Oh, okay. I can do an unboxing with this one. This isn't bad. Okay, I can do one with this. Where's the um? We got the we got the Elgato, right? Mm-hmm. We got the capture of the screen. Display capture. No. video capture oh it's right there it's been there the whole fucking time it's just underneath a lot of the shit oh there we go okay so we'll be doing an unboxing from this screen uh, that way I can keep tra track of the chat and um, do the unboxing so looks good looks good I really want to get a new mic stand, which I probably definitely will. I just got to find the right one for this mic. Um, and that's what my next little, just small purchase is going to be. I think we're good on everything else. I was going to be the type of individual that did green screen, but I said, nah, it's fucking annoying. Um, what's going on, Dead Giraffe? How you doing this morning, man? Got a good amount of news to talk about. Uh, so, first of all... I want everybody to understand the Mixer thing is not something in the making. We knew Mixer was a failure. Now that's something that we all knew for a very long time. But it's not the reason that it closed down. Mixer could have closed down last year or the year before. Mixer was always a failure. There was never... There's not a scenario of where I think they should have waited so long to close the doors of Mixer. Okay, just because hardcore Xbox fans go over there to stream doesn't mean uh, that shit should have been out that long. I think that shit should have been gone for a long fucking time. Um, I don't think it should have lasted that fucking long. Um, so, oh yeah, yeah, we got we got a lot of shit on the docket to talk about today. Um, I'm just testing out this stuff, so bear with me. Um, we are still doing a live chat. I'm trying to see. No, 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 no. Capture device. There we go. So, um, I'm going to put some stuff on the docket to talk about, and that is definitely, uh, There we go. So far, so good. That looks great. We're going to change a couple other things, too. 
Um, oh, there we go. Okay, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's definitely one of the topics we're going to definitely have on, on the scroll because that is very important. Smart delivery versus cross. We're going to talk about this shit again on Sunday with the rest of the panel. We might have some panel members joining in. Again, this is a little early for a lot of people. So, I understand that. So, we're going to change the slideshow as well. Again, if at any time anybody wants me to put up a picture that you, know, that you want to send, you can just send that on Discord. Let me know in the chat. And we'll, put, we'll pop that image up on the discord make sure it is a 1080p i mean a 920 by 1080p image so it doesn't look bad uh but we will definitely put that image up so the one that we got uh, we're gonna put up just some relevant images um related to you know the uh what the show is about today so i'm just getting ready just a little bit there's just a few things we gotta Definitely make sure we get, we get, uh, <clears throat> oh, you know what, I think I know exactly what we're going to do today. We make sure that everybody knows, you know, the, the different things, uh, 920 by 1080. There's only one image that I don't think I put at nine <coughs> 920 by 1080, which I needed to do for a long, long time now. A lot of shit in here. A lot of shit in here. There we fucking go. There we go. Perfect. Save that shit. Save. Keep quality. Mm-hmm. Great. This one's not great. You know what? If it's not 1080p, still send it. Uh, I just, I just changed the resolution myself since I came with this damn app. So that's fucking helpful. Always, always helpful. Um, they did good. That's that one's perfect. Um, this one is Saving all this shit. Looks like we're all good here. Um, let's go back here and make sure everything's good. This one definitely has to be, uh, even though we don't use this one no more. <clears throat> so 
So, I just want to make sure we save that one. Oh good. Oh, <clears throat> it wasn't fit the screen. I knew something was wrong. What's going on, Spartan? Okay. Um, I got some stuff to talk about with Crash. My opinions. Um, we're gonna talk about smart delivery versus cross buy or free enhancements or free upgrades, whatever we're gonna call it by Sony. Sony hasn't really marketed a name, which is a, in a way, I feel that it's a relieving thing that we don't have to hear them talk about, you know, some made up name to make them look better. Just do it. And the gamers will be happy. You know, you don't have to make a name up for it. Just do it. Um, <clears throat> okay. This seems... No, this is the shit is weird with all like, now this shit's coming out and I find it funny like like I said in the beginning of the year everybody's trying to act like their community uh was innocent. They've tried to pin me, like make me a representation of the PlayStation community. I'm not. I'm just a small person, uh, in a huge, huge universe of different gamers. Um I wanna read this statement off by Twitch. It says the following uh, we take accusations of sexual harassment and misconduct extremely seriously. We are actively looking into accounts concerning streamers affiliated with Twitch and will work with law enforcement where acceptable. Uh, we're thankful uh, for the bravery shown by those who have come forward to speak about their experience. And we are committed to working to make sure sh the streaming community is safer for everyone. Um, so again, everybody knows this shit was happening. Again, I was singled out in the very beginning of the year as it though nobody else has done it. So I want to let you guys know the real reason that Mixer went under. Microsoft didn't have the balls uh, to put their company on the line, obviously. They didn't want to do that. Um, and that was, I don't know what I'm about to do with the PS4, but I don't want to go in sleep mode. Um, there was an issue of racism from the higher ups from someone that was working at Mixer. And of course, when I found that out yesterday, <clears throat> which obviously it, it was already happening, but when I found out the, about the accusations yesterday, it was already too late. Mixer was gone. When I digged in uh, deep in the Twitter universe about what was going on and why it was going on, it was apparent that the guy was about to expose. Uh, the higher upset mixer about his concerns with racism. He already did it. He released a huge, um, you know, just document of all the racism uh, that he had received since he started working there, I believe, in 2013. So he, um, it took me to a different website because Twitter didn't allow me to, you know, obviously for him to write that much. Uh, it was pretty fucking daunting. However, at the same time, People had came out on Twitter and said that, you know, the gamer girls, they were receiving uh, sexual harassments publicly in the chats. 
and Mixer did nothing to stop that. Um, so, again, everybody had seen it. And this was Mixer. This is by the Xbox community. This is Microsoft. They did not want to deal with any of this. So they washed their hands from this incident. And what they did, they just closed the Mixer. They said, fuck it. Fuck it. We don't want to deal with this. We don't want to have anything to do with this. We're closing it. Here, Facebook, you can take this. Um, I don't think it was the right thing to do. I always think it's great to have conversation, even what happened with me. You have to have conversations. What I did was wrong. Uh, and even though I apologized or tried to, uh, the individuals did it for clout for a completely different reason. Um, the people that are coming forward now, I think that your voices definitely should be heard. But I think you should have did nothing uh, but continue your fight before right what happened right now. It sucks that Mixer is closing and now we're hearing these voices. I need to know why these voices were silenced in any type of way um, while this shit was going on. How did we now find out there was racism within uh, the inner confines of Mixer? Uh, how do we find out why, why there was sex, uh, sexual harassment uh, going on uh, with Mixer? Yes, I know about the Angry Joe shit. Yes, we know about all the other stuff. It's just weird that this shit was going on. And the response is, hey, let's close Mixer. Give it to Facebook. Facebook of all places. Facebook, the place that nobody trusts, but you're gonna you're gonna align with Facebook. <clears throat> so a lot of people are uh, disappointed, um, and again, they have every right to be disappointed. I'm gonna start up Discord. I'm pretty sure nobody's up, um, but yeah, we're almost we're we're getting to clo closer to 20 viewers. When it gets to 20 views, I'm gonna have the bigger screen. I'm gonna unbox these gummy bears. Uh, what's going on, Enzo? What's going on? Uh, who else is here? Yeah. Okay, so let me let me read this by Spartan. Uh, this July event, I'm hoping they bring it. If not, I'm just going to shake my head in disappointment. I think they're going to try everything in their power to bring it, Spartan. But their level... Is uh, on a different level than PlayStation, so I can't say that um, when they do what they do, it will match PlayStation or outdo what what PlayStation is doing. That's what a lot of gamers are basically saying without saying it. They're basically saying, "Hey, you need to be better than PlayStation, so I can make the decision to go where you are." And this is what I'm saying to all the gamers that want that: go. If you're waiting for Microsoft uh, to be better than PlayStation, you're already trying to go over there. And I'm just telling you right now, just go over there. Don't be a pussy about it. Go over there. If you want to go back home to Xbox, if you want to go back over there because of your friends, go over there now. The reason why I'm saying this is because we know Xbox is a failure. We know it's been a failure all generation. It's been more of a failure than any other Xbox console and because they're continuing their momentum of failure and PlayStation's con continuing their momentum of success, um, we know how this story ends. And if you've been seeing Microsoft close down studios, get rid of developers, close down applications, you know, when something is failing, they get rid of it. How long is it before they get rid of Xbox? I saw this somewhere on Twitter. I think it was Sick Humor. I think someone else said it on Twitter. And it's, a, it's an amazing question. If they're getting rid of everything that they believe is a failure, how long is it before they get rid of Xbox? They still want to make money off of this investment, which is the Xbox brand. I just don't think they can. This is, this is just me being honest. We know people... Getting one dollar subscriptions to Game Pass is not making up the revenue that they need to stay afloat. We know there's not a lot of people invested in Xbox enough to buy the console for them to even brag about a sales report. Xbox has been doing bad. I don't know how they're still out. I don't know if they want to save face, but 
what they're doing right now just really just this is not no nah, this is not what you want this is not what you want this is this is really really bad um the mixer thing is really horrible we we look at the other side outside of the racism outside of the reports of sexual harassment you look on the other side of them paying these influencers these streamers millions of dollars tens of millions of dollars to get over on their platform to make their platform look better than the competitors platform and this plan took shape not even a year ago it hasn't even been a whole fucking year before they started doing this dumb shit and it's already a failure not only that they had to pay out these individuals they pro i believe People are talking about either close to or over a total of $100 million that they lost on this investment. Because they had to pay these guys out. Immediately. Now these guys are free to go wherever they want. They can go back to Twitch. They can go to YouTube. Shit, if they really wanted to, they could go to Facebook. From what I've heard, Facebook offered them more money than Microsoft to leave Microsoft. And they rejected that. So... They're they're not going to Facebook. So if you think Ninja is going to Facebook with Xbox, no. He got his contract paid out by Microsoft. He's going elsewhere. He probably would go back to Twitch. If they if they accept him, that's them. I, you know, I don't really care for the guy, so I don't really understand the appeal. Uh what's going on plus ultra? How you doing? <clears throat> uh startup Discord. Okay, man, I got you. I'm about to get the fork, the knife, and the uh, plate, because it looks like we got like 20 people. Oh, my God. Get, oh, my fucking God. Get, bro, somebody got one of the PlayStation Legion shirts. Oh, my God. My boy Josh 4K, bro. We got to give this dude a special shout-out. Um, We got to give him a special shout-out. Where's the capture? We got the capture right here, and we go... Put the slideshow in the background real quick. Just hold on. I was going to put the slideshow in the background. I'm trying to figure out how to do that shit. Okay, there we go. <clears throat> uh, special shout out to my boy, bro. I just hopped in the... Um, in the public discord and guess what bro guess who i see just got the fucking shirt my boy king josh 4k got the playstation legion podcast shirt big shout out to this dude bro he brought the shirt i'm telling you bro <clears throat> i got the shirts i'm trying to uh do a um a little q a on what design we should make a shirt of next um i know we got the xbox we got the playstation legion podcast we got the PlayStation Legion um, Sunday show. I got the JTEC TV one over there. And then I got the original, just the PlayStation Legion Shield logo. Um, but I got a, all these other logos I made for people. Logos I made for our podcast. We might put a live chat one on there. I know we've done a lot of those. Um, we also might do a game, uh, game night logo shirt. But, um, bro, it makes me proud, bro. It makes me proud that... Um, you know, we got supporters like this. We got dedicated supporters um, that are members of the channel that, that, that support us with the um, super chats, which help us give back. What the fuck? Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Gannon says something about a fucking giveaway. Gannon says something about a giveaway. He wanted to help um, us do a giveaway. He got a code, and we're supposed to do a giveaway. I need to talk to him and see if he's ready. If he's ready this morning, what we're going to do, we're going to do a giveaway too. So, I'm going to see, um, are you ready, are you ready for the giveaway? And remember, um, whenever I get to 9,000, obviously it's no rush because I lost 15 subscribers. I think they did another cleansing, um... So, whenever I get to uh, the 9,000 mark, uh, that's when I'm a, out of my own pocket. I'm doing $100 of uh, 
PSN card giveaway. So a lot of people will um, be able to get $20 PSN cards out of the total of $100. So um, I want to do that for you guys. Obviously, we have more giveaways. You know, if uh, developers give us codes that we might not use or whatever, I'm going to be giving that back out. Um, you know, there's no rhyme or reason when we do giveaways, but yeah, we will do giveaways. Um, so it's best to be a participant because um, you don't want to miss out on that shit. <clears throat> big, big shout out right there. Big shout out um, for King Josh 4K, bro. Nice shirt, bro. Nice shirt. <laughs> this shirt looks fucking dope. Uh, really nice. I should have got that shit in white. I know when I get the Sunday show shirt, I think I might order mine this week. Um, I'm definitely gonna pick mine up in white. Because <clears throat> I got enough black shirts. So I might pick, I'll pick that shit up in white. Um, uh, yeah, I got the Discord started. Let me go, uh... Yeah, I'm there. Yeah. Let me go, uh, get a plate and a, a knife real quick. <laughs> I got the gummy bears. I'm about to do the unboxing. The unbagging. <laughs> the gummy bears of Trooper, uh, right here. They call them, uh, they call them gummy bear pack, you know. They're good until, uh, December 1st, 2021, so let's hope the world doesn't end before that. I'm still gonna eat them. I'll be back. <clears throat> I'll be back, guys. Hold on. Let me eat my own foot real quick. So yellow, I mean you, you got the mic, man. You can you can talk about whatever you want to talk about. I mean you might as well tell them your thoughts of the, these Batman, this Batman and Suicide Squad game, because um, I don't know, man. <laughs> exactly, I don't know. Not looking good at all, man. If it's if it's true, but again, you think it's a uh, cash grab? I don't know, bro, because... I what the, with the Suicide Squad thing, right, what's so weird about that is, look, the the comic book is good, right? And it is a good... It's a good comic book to make a game about, right? Because you have all mm -hmm. these different characters that have joined the Suicide Squad. So that's a good attribute. But I know they're doing it because of Harley Quinn, and Harley Quinn is the face of female comic books right now outside of Wonder Woman. You know, she's new, she's edgy, she's dark. Um... Who's but new, I, edgy, and dark? Who? who who'd, who'd you say was new, edgy, and dark? Um, Harley Quinn. No, no, she been out there, but I'm just saying. Yeah, she, for the female. she been out there. Yeah. They, they they haven't promoted her, you know, th this way ever. Now well, they're trying, you know. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. They have promoted her in that way since the animated series because that's when she made her first debut. You feel what I'm saying? So if you're a fan of Batman and especially myself, by the era of storytelling with Batman and, and his many ventures of storytelling, um, she was a pinnacle character. She was loved by many. You see what I'm saying? So I just feel as though as of right now, I mean, only time will tell, but from what I'm hearing, I don't know. But at the same time, Rocksteady has not let me down with their Batman games. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So and, as and what, we don't as know if Rocksteady is making this. That's what I mm -hmm. hope. If Rock said he's making it. But what I meant by Harley Quinn, as far as the casual eyes, they changed oh, yeah. her design casual, yes, yes, to make yes. her more appealing to the people that didn't want to know about her. That's what I meant mm -hmm. to say. Um, you know, I, one of my favorite things, uh, my stories from Harley Quinn was um, Batman Beyond, uh, mm -hmm. the the Joker's uh, animated movie, and how mm -hmm. you know she had the kids and how she did that, that epic fight against Batgirl you know, in the ruins. Uh, I never forget that. That was like that was my moment where I was like, "Damn, Harley Quinn got skills, bro." You know, I was yeah. like, "Damn!" I thought she was just Joker sidekick, but she was just moving, bro. Um, and I've learned about Harley Quinn before, you know, uh, outside of the comics, and you know, and I thought she was a great character. I always thought she should have already been included in one of these Batman movies, and mm -hmm. it's like the one that they added her in was a fucking Suicide Squad, you know. Yeah, and I like dog the, shit horrible. Yeah, I, but my favorite thing is I did <laughs> like the little story that they had with her and Joker. It was true to the comic books, right? Yes, it was. But the whole movie as a whole, 
was garbage. It was garbage. It's just like, remember I tell you I like um, Batman v Superman? Superman. I like mm-hmm. Batman v Superman because I like that Batman. And I like how they made him. That's well, our like, Batman. That's well, like, like I said, like I said with that with that movie, bro, like, again, Suicide Squad was based off a comic, which, again, if you're a fan, you've already seen the animated version of it, which yeah. is better than the actual silver yes, screen. Yeah, and the I same agree. thing goes with ba- same thing. Same thing goes with Batman versus Superman. That's actually the Dark Knight Returns mm-hmm. one and two. Yeah. OK, as my theory is, in my point of view, looking at that movie, OK, it was horrible due to the fact that they tried to cram so much within the time frame that they're allowed on a silver screen. But but this is another thing that that event does not happen until the Justice League is already formed. Oh, Batman versus Superman. Yeah, remember, mm-hmm. uh, uh, Green Arrow had already lost his arm. Superman was working for Ronald Reagan. He was hunting down any of the Justice League members that didn't want to sign a contract for the government. Uh, you know, like Wonder Woman had already left and, and had to come back. Bro, everybody was older and shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but they went and did their own thing. And much. it's like, yeah, they went and did their own thing, but the only person they made older was Batman. Mm-hmm. But he wasn't like retirement old, but he was, you know, he was older. And it's just, it's like they really, not only did they cram pack it, they fucked up the storyline that is so detrimental to that storyline. I mean. Well, the, my thing is this, bro. When it comes to DC movies, silver screen wise, Batman carries that brand on his back, right? Yeah. When it comes to Marvel, their movies are fucking impeccable. They're phenomenal, yeah. right? That, 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 that's hands down. But the roles reverse when it comes to DC Animated movies, them bitches are powerful, bro. Oh, definitely. The best in you the know? fucking business. Uh, I was just uh, sharing some pictures with you this weekend about um, uh, uh, Superman Red Sun. Uh-huh. Please watch that movie. That uh-huh. shit is... That shit is fucking good. I did not think it was going to be that good. It's like every DC comic animated movie I've ever watched has been... Top of the fucking line. Yep. The only one I didn't like was that animated movie many, many years ago. It was like these four different stories of Batman. I didn't like that one. I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Gotham, Gotham, uh, Gotham Knight, I think is what it was. It might have been. Yeah. That's the only one I didn't like. The other ones, loved it. Red Hood is the one that made oh, people man. even respect oh, Red man. Hood. What was sad about it is I love Red Hood. Uh, before he was Red Hood, um, remember Batman Hush? Mm-hmm. Bro, I was when I was reading that shit when I was younger, bro. I was like, why don't they get this dude more go, bro? Why is he not out there? They had to change his look. They had to make mm-hmm. it animated. You see what I'm saying? They did the same thing with Harley Quinn. They had but, to change her look, make her here's more appealing. The they put the red hood in the uh, Arkham Knight. In Arkham Knight. Mm-hmm. They did. Yeah, the blast ball. Remember, come on, man. The Red Hood's in Arkham Knight, bro. Oh, I got Jason Todd. Yeah, yeah, I gotta watch. Yeah, the vi- the video game, bro. I'm talking about the video game. Oh, the video game. They're putting him in there. No, listen, bro. Arkham Knight. The video. Oh, game. oh, oh. Okay, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, I'm up here thinking Gotham Knight. Okay, um. Calm down, dude. Okay. Oh yeah, take, yeah. Hey, yeah. Take two red gummies and hey, take two red gummies and just take a breather, bro. Yeah. No, no, I'm yeah, I know they put them in there, but I'm like, it's a long time coming. That's what I'm saying. It's mm-hmm. like, yeah, this, I knew definitely. about Red Hood. I knew about the story of Jason Todd. Such a heartbreaking story. Uh, and then what what happened with Hush? And they brought him back in such that fashion that even though it wasn't a movie, even though it wasn't a TV show, you could hear everybody around the world gasping like, "Oh my God, that's Jason Todd. That's the dead Robin." And it's just, it's fucking crazy, bro, uh, that, you know, they had to change so much just to make him appealing, you know, put him in a fucking red, uh, what is it, the red helmet, uh, Harley Quinn, they had to give her some booty shorts and a bustier and make her titties hang out and shit, and, you know, it's just like, if you didn't like them at their, when they started, man, I, I can't call you a real comic book fan, you know, that's how I feel about that shit. You know, because these motherfuckers been out here for a long time, just like me and you going back and forth with wrestling, bro. You know, they was better than when they was almost in retirement mode. All these wrestlers, bro. Yeah, yeah some of the most iconic matches um, you can ma- imagine. Don't even get me started on that. Uh, let me get the uh, fork and knife and uh, let me bust up in this bag of gummy bears.
Ja. Yalla, what's going on? Well, man, I'm just got to drink some uh, coffee, double shot espresso. Okay, I don't drink coffee. I'm allergic to that. Um, let's get started on whatever this shit is. Uh, I forgot which one of these things it is. Oh, it's overlay testing. We're going to... We're going to have overlay testing. I'm going to rename that to <clears throat> unboxing. So I can find this shit better. Bro, my daughter is in love with that little big one. Oh, yeah? Man, you know, yep. that Sackboy adventure, I know she's going to like that. Mm -hmm. that. See, that's what I always wanted it to be. I wanted eventually for it to change um, its camera angle and shit. 
And I think they would have tried to do it with three, but I think the PS3 might have been holding it back. But I like Sackboy Adventure. I, I think I'm definitely going to pick that up. I'm gonna, yeah, definitely you know, pick it up. I know they don't got a create mode, but I'm definitely going to pick that shit up. Let's get started. Um, Bro, hey, yellow man, go look at the screen, man. I got the... uh. I got a good China out for this shit, bro. You about to have some gummy bears, people. I'm not joking. Oh, shit. I don't joke, bro. I don't fuck around, okay? We're doing it. We're doing it. We're about to do it. Shout out to fucking Adam. Shout out to fucking Adam, bro. Let's open this big ass. This shit was heavy as shit, bro. I thought it was cocaine at first. I was like, what the fuck is going on here? Oh, that shit is very easy to open. Oh, my goodness. Let's pour some uh, gummy bears on this that, plate. Bro, that smell's gonna hit you, bro. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Come on, you motherfucking gummy bears. Come on out. I'm just trying to eat you. There you go. I got a green one. Might eat that green one first. I like how it has its own Ziploc bag. That is, um, that's pretty dope. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because I was about to put it in the Ziploc bags that I got. So, um, yeah, guys, uh, let's do this, man. Let's, uh, let's do this. We gotta, gotta eat some gummy bears. You know? I'm gonna eat this. I'm gonna eat this green one first. This right here. This shit is good. You know. It's only one green one. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's... That's hitting right there. Hmm. Okay. Let me get a, a red, an orange, and a yellow real quick. Let me, let me eat all these, man. Oh, man. Damn, y'all. Damn. Mmm. Uh, that feels good. Told you. Got me a bear kind of sore, bro. You gotta do it, man. Y'all gotta eat. You gotta eat gummy bears with a fork. That's how you do it. That's no. That's that's how we know you got respect for gummy bears, man. Mmm. Mmm. -mm. Mm -hmm. Now, what's up? Was I lying? This shit is good. Let me clickety clack these motherfucking utensils in the fucking mic and shit. <laughs> oh man. Mmm. That shit hit. That shit is hitting. Mmm. God damn. What's going on, Veggie? Damn. That shit is good. Mmm. What about that gold pack, Jake? Shut up, bro. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> <coughs> what about that gold pack, bro? I don't know about that gold pack no more. Mm. Okay, man. Now I'm going to be thinking about gummy bears all day. Okay. Uh, <laughs> there you go. There you go. We, um, we need to go look at the sales for Last of Us. It seems like we got the sales report. That was a damn good game, bro. Um, it seems like they want me to turn off my ad blocker, and they're going to keep asking me to turn off my ad blocker, so, pause on this site, pause, no, we just got to pause the ad blocker on this site. <laughs> I turned it off, okay? You happy now, you stupid fucking site? It's Forbes. It's Forbes.com, by the way. It's like they don't need any more money. Um, they said something about the sales here. It's more advertisements than the article. That's why I always have ad, ad blocker. They got so many, oh my God, they got so many ads on this site. Yeah, no wonder you wanted me to put this shit on. I'm trying to scroll and see if they actually talk about sales. Um, no, they, they're talking about whiskey. 
Wait up, these are advertising. Oh my god. I turned on the advertisements. I think they talk about Last of Us. They up here talking about whiskey and shit. Okay, bro, I don't even know where the article is anymore. Like, what the fuck? Okay, they talked about what we already know. One of the fastest selling games, blah, blah, blah. They haven't released the number, so... Yeah, we go wait until they release a the number, but they, they have not re released the number, so we're not going to worry about the sales until they do. Um, I would expect about 5 million in a week of 7 days. Maybe five million in five days. So you might be getting something like that. Uh, what's your thoughts on Crash Bandicoot? We already knew when he was he was leaked already. We knew what the design was. Uh, I feel that it's a cash grab. They're talking about bringing back the Skylanders, and I think we all remember what happened when Skylanders came out after Spyro the Dragons, horrible games by Activision. They just continue to milk that character. So it seems like Crash will be in the new Spy Skylander games, and they will milk the shit out of them. I, I don't agree with that. You know, that's what I don't agree. When you milk something the way that they milk it, it loses its identity, you know. I like the way they do Mario. They have their spinoff, like their sports and their party games, and then, uh, you know, the side-scrolling games. Then they have the 3D Marios, you know, which they only bring out once in a generation. Um, well, last gen, uh, yeah, uh, with the Wii, it was two. It was Mario Galaxy 1 mm -hmm. and 2, which they rarely did. Um, they did Odyssey this gen. I don't think you they did. I don't think they Mario? Did. Yeah. You know, like how they, they milk it, but they have mm -hmm. a different method of how they milk that character. Um, yep. I don't think Activision will milk Crash Bandicoot by having them in, like, a different selection of games. I looked at the gameplay, right? I really like the gameplay. It's different. But I definitely believe they're, they're ripping off a lot of shit from Ratchet & Clank. <clears throat> uh, I'm that, pretty sure. Yeah, that is with the wall running, the rail grinding, which Crash Bandicoot has never grinded a rail a day in his life. So that's weird. Um, he has new suits, like power suits. That, you know, again, seems to be coming from Ratchet & Clank. What I wanted them to copy off from Ratchet & Clank was definitely uh, the, the the quality. It seems like they downgraded the quality of Crash in order to make him kitty. And I don't like that. I think they could have put a lot more attention to detail and quality in the graphics of not just the character itself, but the surrounding areas. Um, if they wanted to make an animated movie... If they wanted to, you know, make a, just a straight-up cartoon, they could do that with Crash. But instead, they're putting that all into one video game. And that's, again, that's not the Crash Bandicoot 4 that we were all asking for. Uh, if anybody was asking for a fourth installment, I think they, they left off pretty good with the third installment. Um, but, you know, it's Activision's property. They're going to do what they want to do with it. Uh, I do expect to see him in Crash, uh, sorry, the Smash Brothers game. A lot of people keep saying, oh, he's not going to Smash Brothers. He is going to Smash Brothers. Uh, doesn't look like Sony is going to worry about uh, making an All-Stars game, even though they should. Uh, so, I wanted to talk about skating, because I do see a pattern. Uh, so, one of the first skating games that I noticed that was, that was indie, of course, it was called Sessions, right? Um, the game was called Sessions, oh, I'm still here, yeah, the game was called Sessions, and it was like a, um, a skate game, like Skate 2, or 3, or, uh, you know, something like that, so, it was good, and then after that, there's a game, also an indie game, it's called Skater XL, now that's coming out late July for the consoles. It's been on PC for a while. <coughs> then, now after knowing about both of those games, me and Yellow found out, you know, obviously, they're they're doing the, the Tony Hawk game. Then EA was like, oh, okay, there's three skating games. Let's announce ours. <laughs> it's like they weren't even ready to show anything. They just showed the logo. They're like, yeah, it's, it's early in development, but yeah, we're back. 
Well, crazy thing is, how long, how long was fans, right? Which I really didn't care much for skate. Like I understood, I, I played it. I mean, I get it. The, the fan, you know, the fan base is out there. I prefer Tony Hawk, in my personal opinion. But I know for a fact that people were asking for that fucking skate for years. Exactly. For many, 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 many years. And like you just said, Jay, now all of a sudden, oh, 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 oh we're, we're, we're proud to announce, you know, it's finally back. It's fine. Come on, Jay. You did. You're part of. You're part of the fucking. You're part of the hype. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's like, okay, we 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 had two skate alternatives. Now, again, the, the indie games I talked about, they're not like shitty indie games. They're three dimensional games. They look just like skate. Um, because that was the game. You know, Tony Hawk had <clears> dropped <throat> off. Let's be honest. Uh, so Skate was the game that picked it up. The fact of the matter is EA has done this for the better part of this generation, if, I, if I'm being honest. Uh, boxing. If there's enough other people to make a boxing game, EA will try to jump on that bandwagon. You know, as big as they are, they're now a follower and they're not a leader anymore. You know, I'm sorry. It's, it's the truth. They stopped being a leader a long time ago when they just milked nothing but the same games all the time. Um, they have a lot of games they worked on back in the day, and they, they can bring them back anytime they want, but I feel that they don't see there's a lot, a lot of money in it. So they're, it's, they're well, not going to bring it, it's, it up. It's sad because it's a different market, too, mm -hmm. nowadays with gamers. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, you know, the things now are like, uh, you know, we'll release it free, and then we'll release cosmetics and shit oh, that you yeah. buy you know you know what i'm saying like back in back in my day man when games were released they were complete you know what i'm saying no patches yeah. none of that fucking you know dlc content no bro like if you want there was dlc content but again you had to put the work in you had to get the game you know on the hardest difficulty you know what i'm saying that you would unlock certain things you know what I'm saying? So it's like I said, bro, it's just an effect of it's a different market and it's sad. Because again, like my, my era of uh, gaming to where it was, bro, it, it was the golden era, bro. Like I've seen the whole transition to what gaming was to where it is now, you know? Yeah. So, um uh, I agree, bro. I mean I love uh, we were talking about uh in an interview um <laughs> with Thrash on the round table. I was talking to him about Tekken three um you know obviously i you know i have a little flashbacks some other games come up to mind but tekken 3 was the one game that i got so good at that i would beat it and i did not own a memory card i didn't understand how that shit worked because see, mm -hmm. the 64 was already saving the shit and i didn't need one it was saving it inside the console so um or in the cartridge so i would just keep beating tekken 3 over and over again and i would unlock the the little dinosaur and and uh, what was it, Nina, Nina Williams' mm -hmm, sister, mm -hmm. uh, and I would just keep playing it over and over. Every time I would play Tekken, I had to beat it over and over again to unlock all the characters. And I, it didn't cost me a damn dime to unlock those characters. Now, those same exact characters, sometimes, you have to pay for it. Uh, take example of, um, uh, what was that game, uh, Saints Row. Saints Row 3 started making you pay for characters that you could unlock in Saints Row 2 with a cheat code. And then Saints Row 4 yep. did worse. You know? Everything was DLC. Uh, that's what I just didn't like. You know? It's just, it was the movement and everybody, like, followed it. And that's how it is. Uh, it's just like, hey, you're doing it. Well, and you're getting away, and nobody's talking bad about you. Let me see if we can do it and get away with it, too. Uh, speaking of getting away with shit, we're going to segue into um, free upgrade versus smart delivery. Or the original name was cross-buy. Uh, what are your thoughts on Sony not trying to make up a buzzword to talk about the ability to buy one game and play it on two platforms. To about me? Yeah. Yeah, because they've already done it. Exactly. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> they've already done it. Exactly. <laughs> they coined the term cross by last gen with all three platforms PS4, PS Vita, PS3. And it didn't seem like a lot of people was like, oh, bro, this makes me want to buy the system more or buy the game more. Nah, nobody gave a fuck. It was what it was, bro. Some people liked it, some people didn't. 
Um, I just find it funny that now this smart delivery just makes the word something that it doesn't mean. Like cross by is cross by. You buy it once, you get to sorry, you get to play it on both systems, and obviously, um, cross save will be incorporated. Obviously, so it's like it's the same shit. So I I think that Microsoft, if I was them. And I just show you the advertisement that they put on my timeline for YouTube. I would probably stop. Because you're not going to win this battle. Because you're going to sit up there and you're going to advertise cross. Uh, uh, sorry, sm smart delivery. And you're going to make it seem like the competitor isn't going to do it. Then the competitor is going to come out and say, yeah, we're doing it. And then you're going to look stupid for lying to people. And you're going to be caught multiple times. This thing is not going to stop. There are going to be multiple games that come out and announce a free upgrade. Because why? Why would you not? The momentum is there for people to move from PS4 to PS5. Why would you not do this? You know the place where people buy your games. You would want to support those gamers. Who gives a fuck about Xbox gamers? It's not a lot of them left. They actually will buy your game instead of waiting for it to go to Game Pass. So... I mean, they. Uh, it seems that the third-party devs, uh, even indie devs, they understand the market and they know who the winner is already, and they're siding with them. And I think it's a, uh, it's a smart thing to do. Okay, it seems like my childhood game uh, is called um, Harvest Moon. It seems like it looks like shit. The new one looks like shit. So, yep. Um, I'm really getting tired of this dumb shit. I'm looking on Twitter, bro. Let me go swap the Twitter real quick. Uh, I don't know what to make of Avengers. If anybody's act actually, I'm just gonna do everything on a computer so I can read the chat. I don't know what to think of Avengers. Uh, I don't know what to. Um, let me read the chat. Oh, N Nintendo is drier than the Sahara Desert. It is. It is. is It's definitely dry over there, man. They're living off of nostalgia. Animal Crossing, Mario, Pokemon, Smash Brothers. These are old, old games. They have not <clears throat> made a brand new game popular, a new IP popular, in quite some time. I, I can't even name the time where... A new IP has outsold any of their old IPs, and it probably never will happen. Uh, I don't know what to make about Avengers, though. So if you're asking, am I going to buy it day one? I don't know yet. I have to wait for this new uh, gameplay presentation later this week. I think it's tomorrow. Uh, and then I can make my opinion. Uh, but as of right now, it looks pretty. Um, they're talking about the enhancement. It looks really pretty, but I need more than graphics. Yeah. <clears throat> What happened? Hey, what's up? Oh, that's Spark. Yo. What's going on, man? I need some water. Wait. It's gummy bear. I don't know. I just jumped in, but uh, what's the topic? Um, real quick, which game? You said what? What's the topic? Which game are you talking about? You said this Avengers. Is one of uh, my opinions on buying it. I don't have one. Like I'm, I, I'm letting people know I have not pre-ordered it, and I don't plan on pre-ordering it until it can prove itself. Because it's obviously gonna be a sixty-dollar game. And mm -hmm. if I'm going for a game like any of the ones that are launch titles that are exclusive or timed exclusive, um, mm -hmm. I'm not gonna get Avengers. <laughs> I'm just not. It has to make it has to make me know that this is a day one game, and it hasn't done that yet for me and for a lot of gamers. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm anticipating it, but like I said, I'm, I'm not gonna just sit there and jump the gun and say, "Hey, I'm quick to spend my money on it." But mm -hmm. like you said, bro, I got I got to see something first, man. I'm 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 planning. I know that this this game is planning a shitload of DLC, and I'm already not liking it, because uh, you know me and Yellow we we love comic books. We we already know the type of suits and outfits we we plan to see in this game. <laughs> How much money are they gonna charge us? You know, a lot. You know, if everything's in the game and you unlock them through different missions and different uh you know trials or stuff, I can I can rock with that, but. If they're like, well, this this outfit's available, but you have to pay for it. Okay. I don't like that. Jay, and I know that's what they're going to do. Jay, how do you feel about um them doing the Super Smash Bros. approach? Like, I remember when Sikimo first got the game, he literally played through everything and kept fighting and fighting to unlock shit. What do you think about them doing it like that? And what game was you talking about? 
it was Super Smash Bros. to where you had to literally fight to unlock everything. You didn't just pay for it. You had to do this rather that. Yeah, I would rather that. I mean, obviously, you know, with the, when the new fighters come out on Smash Brothers now, you know, you have to pay for them. Uh, but I like the older Smash Brothers, like Melee and Smash Brothers on N64, where, yeah, you did have to play through the whole game to unlock fighters. PlayStation mm -hmm. All-Stars was a little bit different. Um, if you did a certain... Well, if you leveled your character up to a certain level, you would unlock at least two or three additional outfits um, for each character. And, of course, if you beat the campaign, you would uh, you would unlock more characters. So I think that that's how games should be. But when they go towards this future of we need to charge you for every single fucking thing, I don't know if that's the type of future I want or the type of game I want. And they're going to see low sales for these type of games. And they will try to point out other, like, problems of why the game didn't sell. No. The, pro the, the reason is you try to nickel and dime us for every little thing in the game. That's why we didn't buy it. You know, the graphics are pretty. The characters are there. We know them. But I need more than that, man. I need more. I need to see that story. But, Jake, hmm? for the dinner, bro, there's so many fucking casuals. They don't give a shit about that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They don't. They don't care about this. So they get, you got to put it in perspective, man. If, the, if they release the game, right? And yeah. again, you got to put it in perspective. Like we said earlier, you know, the Marvel Silver Screen, you already know that shit does numbers, right? So, of course, people are going to gravitate towards that because it's a Marvel game, right? Just like, again, for, for the Xbox, people don't know, or even with Call of Duty, they can put out Call of Duty car racing, and motherfuckers are going to buy that shit. If you can drive a car and shoot guns and it has the name Call of Duty in it, they're going to buy that shit, right? They go, I'm going to buy that. Uh, yeah, why not? This shit would be trash. But anyway, um, <laughs> it, 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 it's, it's to, no, listen, listen, it's to the no, fact, bro, true. that people don't give a shit about that, bro. They care about what entertains them. If there's a price tag behind cosmetics and shit, people are going to fucking go out and buy it. Look, I'm, like, I'm, I'm not going to say all, I have we've all been a victim to it. I've engaged in that a exactly. lot of fucking times. Um, We've all been a victim to it, bro. But I step back now on so many games that don't need it. And I'm like, mm -hmm. damn, bro. What the fuck? Well, you're already playing this game. You know what type of game this Avengers is going to be. You know? I mean, if you do a mission on a side mission, you should be able to unlock a story that unlocks the fucking armor. But you're going to do the side mission, and it's not going to unlock that armor that you know it should be connected to. And they're just going to have that shit on the PlayStation Store for you to buy. That right there would make the game better if you do a side mission related to some sort of flashback or moment in time for a comic book and you can unlock the outfit. That's great. You know, but they're not going to do that. They're going to try to make as much money as possible. It's going to piss off some gamers. Now, is the Marvel hype train, is it still in effect? I would not know. I know people love Spider-Man and they always have. But I don't know how people feel about the rest of Marvel characters outside of sitting in a movie theater and watching them. I don't know if that hype has lasted as long as they feel that it needed to for people to go out and buy this game. This game did get delayed, what, two times? Mm -hmm. So, again, that's a huge question. And now you can't ride the bandwagon off of the Marvel Cinematic Universe you have to make a good Avengers game by itself. So it doesn't matter if it has that Avengers name tag to it. You got to make sure this is a good game. Not to the ca not to the casuals, Jay. To the hardcore, the people that understand. Exactly. What... To the hardcore. Um, when does it come out? I think it's a September release. Let me go look up. No, notice that you just said a Marvel game, right? Mm -hmm. Who's marketing the game? PlayStation. Uh, yeah, the um, the marketing seems to be with PlayStation, yes. Okay, um, remember the PS4 is coming out this year, and that game's going to get a hint bit. Do you know what other Marvel game is coming out this year? Spider-Man. There you go right there. That's how you could market it if they add Spider-Man to the PS4 version. That could market it. We've been it. saying like that it. for a long time. Uh-huh. You just said this, actually, I think you said this back earlier this year before mm. that. And um, you know what, bro? 
a lot of people thought I was crazy when I was saying it because they didn't think we were going to get another Spider-Man game this soon. Okay. They thought the next time we get a Spider-Man game would be after the generation had already started. No, I know what's going on. I told you, bro. That's a perfect. That's a. Per, that would be perfect. That mm -hmm. really would. Or this. You know what? Think about this. What other Marvel game is coming out this year? Uh, Iron Man VR. Yup. And Iron Man's in this game. How about you play the Iron Man VR game and you unlock an outfit for Iron Man in this game? Interesting. So, you know, I mean, it's, it's different ways. Sony has really, really did good with this Marvel shit. Like, this deal with them having Spider-Man in there, it has benefited them so much in the gaming space. It should, because the movie space, they own the nigga, so why not gaming? So uh, I got a confirmation that um, they have been talking about what the frame rates will be for the PS5. They say it will have a, a, a mode to target the 60 frames per second with a dynamic 4K resolution, which is dope. Um, this is what I'm saying. A lot of people don't understand why Sony has so much marketing for third party and indie games. I've said it so many times. The dev kit for the PS5 has been out there longer. We have not, to this very day, saw the Xbox Series X dev kit. That means that not a lot of developers know how to use the Xbox. Not, I'm, I'm sorry. You might not want to hear that shit, but it's true. I believe that. Go out there and ask the dev and say, how long have you had the Xbox dev kit versus how long have you had the PS5 dev kit? I guarantee you there's a lot of space between that. Like that's some that's some that's some questions that we've been I've been asking this question a lot, Spartan. Uh, Yella Yella definitely knows I've been asking this question. It, it was never answered, and I don't think it ever will be answered. Uh, they showed off their system, and when you show off your system, obviously you should have the dev kit out there. Sony didn't show off their system until what uh, the beginning of this month, but they had their dev kit out there for at least three years, at least with the first party using remnants or uh, alpha uh, portions of the dev kit because um, a lot of their first party devs have their games pretty much ready you know game development takes a while so I mean that's some amazing shit right there and the longer that our devs have uh, with these dev kits and they, they can learn different techniques um, <laughs> shit's gonna get better these are some amazing images, but I definitely want to see the game in action. Jay, I don't know what they're doing. Remember um, the UMT thing when they tried to unify PC and Xbox? Notice that Microsoft has direct ML, direct X ray tracing, mm -hmm. direct storage, um, um, DLS 2.0. I'm like, bro, they're basically going to take everything they do in the videos, they gave it to AMD, and they're going to port shit from PC to the Xbox Series X. They're going to do that again, I'm telling you, like they did the Xbox One X. And how I know they're going to do it? And because when they did they show for third party, they said optimize. And still on their website, it's saying optimize for Xbox Series X. Mm. And I've noticed that they're not saying built from the ground up no more. Like, have you noticed that? They're just saying optimize. Yeah. So I think we're just going to get a lot of ports, basically, from PC Yeah, version. I mean, that, that was the general message we got uh, in May. Right, mm -hmm. uh, and it was not something that went over well um, for Xbox. Uh, I mean, for the whole gaming community, like we didn't. Nobody liked that. That was really, really bad. Um, it seems like a lot of Japanese developers are going up today, Spartan. They're putting up, um, talking about their games, their new releases. Um, oh, obviously, yeah, I'm not really excited about it. Um, the system. For all systems, you know, lots of different Japanese developers are showing off. It's uh, it's called the NGPX, the New Game Plus Expo. Uh, so Sega, Atlas, Nasumi, uh, Spike Chinsong, Idea Factory, um, Koei Tecmo, Gunho, uh, yeah, all the Japanese developers, SNK, Nis of America, uh, Grasshopper. Um, yeah. yeah, I know, right? <laughs> um, so they're all going. Arc System is also, um, Arc System works 
I like those guys. Uh, that that's gonna be pretty interesting to see what they show off. I don't think that they will show off any next generation games. You know, Japanese developers always, from my from my standpoint, they're a generation behind, and I I wish they would stop doing that shit. But um, it looked like, and I'm not joking. It looks like Neo Geo made a handheld. Oh, uh, they said Neo Geo Pocket Selection from SNK. So it's a collection of Neo Geo games you can play on the Switch. So, look, again, they're not getting any demanding games on the Switch. That makes sense. Uh, why do you think I got rid of mine a long time ago? Yeah, I mean, look, bro. No, hey, if you like the switch, you like the switch, but. Harvest <laughs> Storm. Man, I mean, I was a big fan of Harvest Moon, right? Growing up. Why does Harvest Moon look like this in 2020? Can somebody look at this fucking screen? Tell me, why does it look like this in 2020? Bro, what the fuck, bro? I'm telling you, man, a lot of devs, they gotta step the fuck up. Stop putting your games on a Switch. They're making you too fucking comfortable, bro. They won't. Uh, it won't because the name Nintendo is attached to it. No, they'll never let go of that. I'm telling y'all. Yeah, but it's just like, it's a, it's a permanent excuse excuse to make yes. your games look shit like well you know you know what the reality of it is john is nintendo is in their own is a, in their own world they know their market right mm. and i experienced this firsthand when i worked at GameStop. you had soccer moms and kids only asking for nintendo yeah. majority of the time you have your small cult following that is obsessed with fucking nintendo right i don't know what's wrong with them hey he's own but to the fact of you have to understand that Nintendo will always be in the gaming industry no matter what. Even if it's the underpowered console, even if you know the problem that we see it having still exists, people will always buy Nintendo. Why? Because kids are being born every day. Yep. And guess what? My daughter's four years old and she's starting a game. Yep. So, so what, baby? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you're right. You're right, you, you're right about that. You're right about that, man. You're right about that. That's why I think that even though we're we're adults and we play on PlayStation, same thing goes for Xbox. You need a mascot that kids can relate to. You don't want to make a system just cater to one demographic. However, with Nintendo... The majority of the time, they're only catered to one demographic, and um, it's not only that. It's just like their systems are so weak that it's holding a portion of the industry back, and it's making them feel that it's it's okay to make your games not run good or for your games to not look good. And I'm I'm not I'm not a fan of that at all. Um, I'm not a fan of that shit at all. What's this about right here? And the next hey, Spartan, what's your game. thoughts on this mixer shit, bro? Um, I was correct. Yeah, I'm just I gonna know. rub it in because <laughs> I said to them, I'm going to. I like I told Rand and Kids Move um last year when they like they made a bigger deal about mixer and, and the people being paid off. <clears throat> I said these exact words on Kids Move and Rand Rand's club. Mixer is going to fail because Twitch is too big of a platform and plus is marketed with PlayStation. It was like, what does that have to do? I'm like, install base matters. Just like the 360 back in the days, install base and matter. I said, since the beginning of this gen, PlayStation has been partnered with Twitch for streaming. That was already over. Once, since Xbox didn't have sharing to um, YouTube, that was another thing. So PlayStation had both of them. I said Mixer, although they have better live stream quality, 4K than every every streaming platform, Mixer has better quality than so I can give them that. The low latency, the 4K, the lack of lag, that's all fine. But I said it's going to fail because they don't have a big enough store base. You can put it on PlayStation. It's not gonna maybe it'll grow, I said. 
But then again, I was like, no, because Twitch is still there. What they said just today, I didn't even know because I'm not on Twitter. When I found out, I was like, didn't I tell y'all this was going to happen? Y'all was telling me Mixer's going to grow and everything because it has best quality. Sony can't even get their live streams correct. And I was like, nigga, what? That has nothing to do with it. It's just oh, going to fail. So I said it was going to fail, and it did. Man, so, this, what, what's so crazy about it, though, they spend a lot of money to get these guys, and they had to end up paying them all out. And from what I understand, they lost $100 million yesterday because they had to pay these guys out. So not mm -hmm. only are they getting rid of Mixer and they're going to dissolve it and give it away what's left of it to Facebook Gaming, um, they lost almost $100 million yesterday. That's fine because they don't give a fuck about that. They don't care. My thing is they must care <laughs> because it wasn't making the money. See, they lost $100 million on paying people out their contract. But that, that fucking venture didn't produce anything. And what I'm saying is, yeah, they're losing a lot of money on Xbox, and they will lose a lot of money if they close it down, but they could save a lot of money if they close that shit down. And, and I think that every Xbox fan needs to think about that. Is Xbox mm -hmm. really doing good? Um, Money-wise, uh, profits and revenue, um, sort of. Uh, yeah, but um, growth-wise... um. No, because they're staying in the same regions. Like, okay, how can I put this? You see, when PlayStation outsells Xbox, the fanboys love to say, oh, but PlayStation sells in more regions. Who fault is that? It's not like Microsoft cannot sell in those regions because they fully can because they're Microsoft. Mm -hmm. They have more connects than Sony do. I don't think you're real that. But I don't, Xbox, they get a install base and a market and they stay with it. They don't try to go beyond that. So all this shit applies to who's already in and not people that's yeah, um, outside so, looking in. So Spartan, this is another thing. I talked about this before. It wasn't mm -hmm. a failure. See, we know Xbox is a failure and we know Mixer was a failure. Yeah, mm -hmm. they're making money off of it, but it's still a fail failure. People are not buying games, right? And people are not buying the console. You had to give them an alternative for them to even play the games because they refused to buy them. In my eyes and the eyes of the casual people that don't understand business, that shit's a failure, bro. Mm -hmm. um, so this is what I want to say, and I said it earlier today. I think I, I don't know if you uh, caught it. You know, uh, Phil Spencer found out about the racism shit and the sexual. Oh harassment. Yeah, yeah, I heard. And, and yeah, but I that was think yesterday. that attri attributed to them ra just randomly saying "fuck this shit." Let's get it. No, no, no. Because no, no, they no. don't want to deal with this. With the Black Lives Matter shit going on, they don't want that to get out there, bro. No, I don't believe that part. Because one, this is Microsoft and Facebook. For that is a fucking rival of theirs that they worked together before. But I don't think that just happened overnight because it takes a while to set that up. They announced that right after that, and it's like maybe they didn't plan to like say it right away. But I think that was long planned already to partner with Facebook. Because remember, they partnered with Oculus still to this day, and as you found out, I agree. Out, but the guy, the guy that worked there, bro, if 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 you was on Twitter, I got the screenshots if you need them. The timeline was very suspicious. The sexual yeah, harassment that, information, and the the guy that that you know that worked there that had a lot of racism dealt against him. That shit was like seventeen hours, twelve hours at the time. Damn. And it was like, well, this shit was breaking on Sunday. These people were coming up, more and more people on Twitter talking bad about Mixer. That was, shit was happening on Sunday night, early Monday morning. And it's like, it was getting to a boiling point. And he, from what I understand, he was going to have like a big live stream with Phil Spencer to talk about it. And it didn't go forward because they had closed it down. And it's like, I, I don't know if it's perfect timing. Again, we know they were planning on doing this anyway. It had to have been in the works. But just the time they announced this shit, bro, they said that the workers didn't even know that they were closing down. A lot of yeah, the okay. streaming personalities, mm -hmm. no one knew that it was closing down, bro. Everybody was blindsided by it. it. I think this had something to do with it, but not the major point. Mm -hmm. The thing is, Mixer shouldn't have even lasted this long. They should have never. Whoever okayed them and spend this big <laughs> amount of money on streamers, they're fired. 
I don't know who okayed that, but they're fired. They don't well, work. Let's, work put in let's put in perspective. Let's put Mixer aside, bro. How many other ventures have they came out with and they all failed? A lot. No, no, oh, that's, me that picture. Hey, we just looked at something. Bro, remember what? They was marketing uh, in 2018 when God of War was coming out. They was marketing and giving away PlayStations on Mixer, too. Mm -hmm. That ain't even worked. So I think if you couldn't grow with you marketing and selling, like Microsoft Mixer was selling PlayStations bundles with God of War, but if that couldn't do it, then um, I don't think nothing would have, and I think Microsoft kept seeing, okay, we put interest in this, and it's going nowhere, so they don't want to be looked at as an embarrassment, because the, the picture with the growth, when it was only 0.02%, yeah. I think that really hurt them, because even Facebook grew over, um, was it 239%? Mm -hmm. That's shocking, because people got wasn't a going, pretty big wow. news announcement. Uh, 52 seconds. Bloodstained Curse of the Moon 2 has been announced for the PS4, Xbox One, Switch, and PC. So I know a lot of people like Bloodstained. Uh, it's, you know, it's like a spiritual successor to Castlevania. Um, mm -hmm. So part two has been confirmed. Um, <clears throat> I need to play. I need to play the first one. Let me just see if I can get that on a good price. Um, I'm, I'm just guessing a shitload of news is about to flow. Cause it's all you know. It's ten o'clock already. <clears throat> it looks exactly like a classic Castlevania game. No joke. What the fuck? Um, damn, that's a lot of fucking. Guilty Gear, um, showed off a new character. I'm trying to figure out when are they gonna put this game out? Are they waiting for the PS5? Probably. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. It's probably gonna be a lo um a launch title. What, Bloodstain? Um, no, uh, Guilty Gear. Don't believe. Um, Fallen Legion Revenant uh, has been announced for the PS4 and Switch only. Yeah, a lot of news is coming out. I'm sorry I'm looking at it on the uh, phone, but I don't know, I'm just... So wait, what are the launch titles for PS5 so far? The Spider-Man and what else? And Godfall, what else? Um... <clears throat> I couldn't tell you because we have windows, but we don't have release dates. I think that in August, we will learn if these games are going to come out. Um, so, if the system is launching early, like adam been saying, roughly around sometime in October, and they can give us the release dates by um, August, you'll have the month of August and September to make a decision if you go buy these games for the launch of October or early early November, um, but that's what that's what I've been like getting gathering that there's another event and this other event will talk about the launch um, titles and they will give release dates, you know, or better release one of those. But I don't think they want to do it right mm -hmm. now, you know. I don't think Sony has too much games, bro. I do, I I do think that that's always been a problem where, you know, like there was different years where they had a game each month, you know, in the beginning of the year. 2017, yep. that shit was brutal, bro. That was hard to watch. So the it's Xbox. like, you know, I feel that they're going to do it, but that's that's when they're at their strongest, when they have a lot of games, you know? I mean, and not to mention all of these different third-party contracts, <laughs> you know, or indie contracts like Kenna and all of these other games, bro. Um, they got a lot of games, man. I, I know Kenna's a launch title. I do know that. That's a launch title. That's coming out this year. Um, man, that's okay. a lot of fucking shit. It really is. Well, I think when they said games had to be cut from, um... Oh, yeah. The, the, the event that we just had, I was like, bro, it cannot possibly have been that much. And the way they speak, and they're like, no, Sony had way more. And I think there was games that were rumored like I don't, I don't think Bloodborne is ready yet. But like See, this hype that games... they doing with fucking Avengers, Woo, boy, that That's is right. how you do it. Because Microsoft made it seem like they could team up with all these third party devs and get them to say your game is gonna be smart delivery, but it won't support a free update on PlayStation. And that is not true, man. Bro, you oh, don't got the stranglehold they think they did. I just realized something. That's what he meant by valuing games, Jim Ryan. 
yeah. value for free. <laughs> oh, I get it. So the console might not be cheap, but if you still have the PS4, there you go. You get the shit for free. I see what he mean by value. Oh, wait, so maybe the shit won't. I'm be that ready. Expensive. I'm ready for an expensive PS5 because I know a lot of the people that, that, for whatever reason, you say, "Hey, bro, I can't get this system because of this, bro." I'm. I know you guys won't be there with us, but I know people like me and yelling a lot of other people. We gotta get that shit day one, no matter no, what. No, no. What pisses me off was when people were saying years ago, "I'll pay more for this much power," and then you get this much power and be like, "Oh, it's, that shit looks expensive." But didn't you say you would pay for shit that was expensive? Yeah. If it's more like that's what confuses me, but yeah. Now, what do you, what do you, you ask the price to be, bro? I mean, it's I expected hardware. it to be four ninety nine because once I heard SSD, I was like, okay. Oh, I'm, I'm not. I'm not, talking, I'm not. I'm not talking. I'm talking about the people that bitch and I'm playing. What's too expensive? It's too expensive. Oh, they spent it on six hundred dollars. Man, even if it's six hundred dollars, bro. My, th- my thing is, uh, bro. Okay, yeah. if you're spending five hundred dollars, okay, and you know, most likely that's what the price point's going to be. But hypothetically speaking, say say if the console's six hundred dollars, right? If you were comfortable and ready to spend five hundred dollars, nigga, you were ready. You should be ready to spend six hundred. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Exactly. If you're spending five hundred dollars, what the fuck is another hundred dollars if you're already spending five hundred dollars? That's like you basically buy exactly. That's like you buying something online for you know, and you're saving money. For instance, you know, say something's eighty bucks, but the shipping and, and handling is twenty three dollars. Then you got that certain demographic. Oh, I don't want to pay that much for shipping. Like, get the fuck out of here, bro! You're already saving money upon the <laughs> that you already bought. You know what I'm saying? But again, there's those people out there. Well, I don't want to pay that much for shipping. Like, stop, bro! Stop. It's fake outrage, bro. At the end of the day, that's fake outrage. But then I know there's something. Um, y'all know somebody I don't like a channel specifically here on YouTube. And J Tech don't too like to me the digital foundry. Oh. Uh, I noticed they did a little video and it was talking about it's a mistake that Microsoft, I mean, Sony didn't reveal price and it looks expensive. I'm like, wait, when the game awards came, you didn't hear none of that when it came to Xbox being expensive or it looks expensive because they said the design is just that is basically made at a tower. The cool solution is brilliant though. Um, for Microsoft, they close to for the Series X. That's good engineering, bro. I know because I've built one before. But when they said this thing looks expensive, how? Because it looks flashy? It still uses plastic. It's the same thing, it's just tall. Yeah, PS3- bro. I, it's like, look, that's how that shit is, bro. We know. I've talked about this before. When we see hardware from any branch, whether cell phone, computers, tablets, when you see it, you're supposed to talk about the price. That's just how it always is. Microsoft's the one that tried to change the game. So you can't be mad at Sony not revealing the price when Microsoft didn't reveal their price in December. And I don't think they're waiting for Microsoft anymore, actually. I think they're waiting for general census because the public are speculating what it could be. Mm. And I think Sony are looking at like forums, IGN, and all them posts. And they're like, okay, so if we sell it like this. 400 for the digital, 500 for yes, the physical. There you but go. then there was also an article, I think, yesterday or the day before saying, like, the Blu ray player that Sony has, like, their one, they're not putting a regular one, they're putting theirs in it. Mm. That shit is $200. So it's like, but taking it out of a console, the, this tray will only be like $20. So they can only expect a $50 difference, which I could see, but like, all digital, Sony makes mad money on digital. Eight dollars for every game. Plus, like if it's tax on the store now, now they make ten. Since the US store here in New York, they add the tax. So here they would get like ten to uh, like twelve dollars. I could see that price point being four hundred dollars for the digital, because think about it. They're putting the emphasis they said on PS Now, PlayStation Network, services. Sony has a lot of services for gaming, just like Microsoft. They just don't have a Game Pass, but they have PS Now. I think they're going to bundle that shit. And I think that um, rumor of backwards compatibility and shit, that might be true because he's talking about value and shit and going forward, the future of gaming and digital. I'm like, the perfect way for Sony to make money back is to sell shit digitally. If you have a disc version, you're not going to buy um, 
you're not going to buy digital because most of the time you want to own your shit. That's all yeah. sir. Nah, but I know people do it, but most of the people who like buy like the disc version most of the time, they like to own shit. Digital is convenient. You don't have to get out your house. You can just download straight from, you know, Amazon and get your code and shit. Or you can just buy it off the PlayStation store. Nowadays, shit is digital. Like 70% of PlayStation 4 downloads since 2016 has been digital. Hey, definitely, definitely. So that's why I'm saying most people like to the own their shit, but digital is convenient. So I think that's why they made it. I don't even think they're looking at Microsoft no more for price. I think Microsoft is looking at Sony for price still because that lock card shit is real and they don't know what price to sell the Xbox Series X back. So this is the question, right? June mm-hmm. is fuck. It's almost it's basically over, right? That's correct. These idiots <laughs> were supposed to have their fucking shit ready this Ooh. month. There was Ooh. going to be an Xbox event this month. There was supposed mm-hmm. to be an Xbox event every month. They announced it. It's called Xbox 2020. Mm-hmm. I believe, from what I've been hearing, the June event was supposed to be centered around Lockhart. But once mm-hmm. they saw what PlayStation did, they backed away. They mm-hmm. have been really silent this month. Yes. They have not made any responses to Sony talking about giving free updates. Mm-hmm. Big games. Avengers is a big game. It's a big name game. Everybody knows Avengers. They know that from the movie franchise. They're talking about a free update. No matter if you got physical or digital. <laughs> Cyberpunk, same thing. Huge game by the makers of Witcher 3. They're talking about free update. Digital or physical. Mm-hmm. Xbox ain't coming back. They're not snapping back. They're not saying anything. The response not- we get is, hey, bro, we got to close down Mixer. If, look, no. This, no, no, I'm just saying. <laughs> this is the only shit we're getting from Xbox. You see what I'm That's saying? Not all. That's not all, bro. Remember, what else, what else backwards compatibility. That's the only thing they have over Sony because Sony haven't talked about that. If Sony did, however, confirm that rumor shit. I think you could. I think what's about to be funny is Sony is definitely going to be doing a side by side style showing a backwards compatibility, and I don't think Microsoft going to be able to do something that way. Because remember, you could already do that with the Xbox One versus Xbox uh, Xbox One X. The Next Xbox week. One X play games much better than Xbox One. And they mm-hmm. were already side-by-sides uh, done, whether it was by Digital Foundry or other people. Uh, for Sony to do that style of a video, uh, to talk about games and show off, you know, that you got better draw distance or whatever. The way that we know Sony will show off backwards compatibility enhancements is uh, it's a way that we won't see it from Xbox. Why? Xbox, you had your turn. You had six months. We're heading into the seventh month of the year, and your focus is supposed to be on first-party new IPs, right? I don't think they're going to try to they, – they probably will, but I don't think that they should spend any more time on backwards compatibility because you gave that messaging out for the last six months. They won't. They have exactly. To so because... that's where I think that whenever Sony decides to talk about backwards compatibility, they can honestly do it. They showed off their new games. They showed off what their system's about. They showed the system, the camera, everything. They can do anything they want now. Last of Us is already out. System. Huh? Not the back of the system or the controller. Yeah, exactly. We need to see the back of the system and the back of the controller. Last of Us is already out. Ghost of Tsushima comes out next year. Once Ghost of Tsushima is out, Bro, they're going to go full for If I was Xbox, bro, I would do my event in the very beginning of July. Because once mm-hmm. Ghost of Tsushima comes out, the fucking shackles are off. I swear, the shackles will be off. They're going to just go full force on the PS5. And Xbox, yeah. I just don't think they're ready for that. They got a little taste of what happened in the beginning of June. And look how big of an impact that was. <laughs> That was harsh, bro. I'm exactly, bro. We when got developers <laughs> coming out of the woodworks. Yeah, yeah, we're working with them. Yeah, we're um, we're gonna do this. Yeah, we want to make you happy because we know where the game sell. <laughs> Tech Tech sells just like a dev, bro. Bro, I'm just saying that's that's how they do. That's they jumped on PlayStation. They were like, hey, bro, we're yeah, we're aligning with PlayStation. Yeah, if you want to buy your game, yeah, buy it. Don't worry, uh, we're gonna give you a free update. Just buy our game over here on PlayStation. 
Because guess what, bro? People gonna keep waiting for games to go to Game Pass, and you gonna lose a sale for each and every individual on Xbox that waits for games to go to Game Pass. You lose a sale. That's sad. Cause now they looking like PC fans when they waiting for games to go on sale. <laughs> <laughs> when they wait for games to go on sale on fucking Steam and shit. Yeah. They out there waiting a year, waiting six months. Developers yeah. do rely on one a day one and pre order sales. They rely on that shit heavily. Just like they rely on DLC and microtransactions. So I don't want anybody to sit up here and tell me how day one sales are not important. Uh wait wait, what's going on here? Say something, Brian. Brian, what'd you say? Brian's outside the window, people. Um, we got something here. This is the platform market share by Hours Watched. We're just going to cut to the chase. In 2018, Mixer was 1%. In 2019, Mixer was 3%. Facebook was 3%. In 2018, Facebook was 1% along with Mixer. Twitch was 75% in 2018. In 2019, Twitch was 73%. YouTube was 22% in 2018. And in 2019, it was 21%. Twitch and Mixer didn't really change, but so much. I mean, sorry, Twitch and YouTube didn't change percentages much, and it looks like Mixer uh, and Facebook didn't change. But they changed together. When Mixer percentage oh. went up, Facebook percentage went up. And it sat, it sat at the same fucking number. Uh, it just really seems that even together, they won't even bite into the dent that is YouTube. Let alone twi Twitch. Because the thing is, more of the people that was even on Mixer are going to go to one of those other places. Wait, wait. I saw it, bro. Oh, I just realized something. I think they could because Facebook have ads and they have xCloud. And then um, Azure has very good latency, low latency. Because Facebook, when they love people live stream, it's very terrible. Oh, I know. So, That's why I don't watch so it I, over there anymore. So yeah. I think they could make a dent if they got better. Because remember, they still have Instagram too. Um, That's what I was hearing from, um, I think it was Randall Thor talking about, like, advertisements would be everywhere. and you Yeah. Would, you know. I mean, I agree, but I don't know if it's enough to save them. It's a big gamble. I mean, it doesn't really matter now because they're joining with Facebook Gaming, so they don't have to take all the responsibility. But I don't know, man. It's it was dead. It was dead when it started. I use Bing. I use Bing as a search engine. I don't know when they close that shit out. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's just, it really is. Yeah, it, it definitely, definitely is, man. I get everything I need to get from Bing. Um, I know that's weird to hear. I use Google, but sometimes you don't, don't get what you Google. need from Google. <laughs> Bro, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not capping just because you said it. Like right now, on my phone, we got iPhone. If you open Safari, the first link you will see, it was says Bing.com, and it says Microsoft. You know, the little green B. Uh -huh. I use Bing over Google most of the time because it's more, well, it, it searches faster, mm -hmm. and it gives you more details. Google gives you a lot of bloated shit like yeah um yeah you're right and all of that but yeah i use bing too yeah bing is, uh, bing is the shit bro that's the one thing i really like from them uh that i even use right now one second you have me use edge did you use edge their browser yo yellow yo what you doing right now uh, like gaming oh shit like shit i beat the last of us too me too. I'll be the last of us on Wednesday, bro. Like, like last Wednesday. It, my my oh, thing is this, bro. If you pay attention, no, check this out, bro. If you pay attention, I'm not saying you, but I'm just saying the people that are that are outraging, right? And I remember you said that you weren't you weren't satisfied with the ending, right? <laughs> no, I was not at all. Bro. Okay, so so check check this out. Check this out. Check this out. Okay. I get why people are upset about the ending because it's not your typical cliche and right and without without spoiling anything he took he broke barriers right so with what transpired the, the first game hey yalla can you hear me you know i still prefer the first game being better what up? Okay. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah um, what up? sometimes yeah. when you talk it's like a slowdown you might have to leave out and come back in 
thing about the problem is? Probably your power of dreams. <laughs> so how do you think they got to work that shit in? I'm hoping it's free to play for um for what? everybody when a PS5 come out. What? Dreams. What? Um, I think that actually would get an enhancement to that SSD shit. Oh, I know I it will, but that, I'm hoping that yeah. it's included in either Mods. PlayStation Plus or free to play. It should be. Because it's really good. Can you hear me? Oh, I can hear you. It's just it was a little okay. bit of a okay. you're, you're right. sometimes. So, yeah, it's from my shitty ass internet. Um, but no, uh, without spoiling anything, bro, like the ending, I don't know. Best way I can say this, man, it, I wasn't let down, right? The contents mm-hmm. of what Neil was trying to get his point across with the storytelling, I get to 110%. You feel what I'm saying? I feel as though it was satisfied and it was justified. And again, people are upset because it's not to the cliche ending as people wanted it to be. But again, you have to look at the message that was sent in that. And again, with, and I'm not, I'm, well, I'm not even going to say what I was going to say because it's going to spoil things. Uh-huh. All I'm saying is. The game been out for a while. Spoil the damn nah, game. No, no, no. I no, didn't no, beat the game, game yet. yet. No, he's not yeah, spoil I'm, shit. Yeah, I'm, I'm not that type of person, bro. No. Nah. Um, but, but what I'm getting at is, bro, I see why people are upset. I really do. Okay. But at the same time, um, if you feel as if if you're the person that's upset saying the story is dog shit, do me a favor, write a better story, and then get it pitched so it can become a game. Okay? Um, again, it's not our story. You feel what I'm saying? This is Neil Druckmann's story and how he wanted to tell it. Now, where people are saying, oh, this is bullshit. I mean, you're, you're crying over spilt milk. You feel what I'm saying? Because, again, if you look at the context of what was what led up to the ending, you will understand why it, it led the way it did towards the end. And I get it to to 100%. You know what I'm saying? I understand why, hap- what happened. You feel what I'm saying? And what choices were made. Okay? Now, upon your point of view, I, I, I can respect your opinion. And you might be upset because it didn't end the way that you wanted it to end. But at the same time, with those choices, if it did pan out the way you wanted it to, it would be a revolving cycle. You see what I'm saying? It'll be a, it'll be a hamster on the wheel. It just continues to go over and over and over and over and over and over. So, do I say it's a bad game? Fuck no. I give it a nine out of ten. Okay. Does it come compared to the first one? No. But at the same time, it is a different person that is a lot older than what they were. You feel what I'm saying? And when the closing moments come to that to the end of that game, okay, when when they're uh. The front porch scene, that's all I'm going to say. The front porch scene, okay? That was very powerful to me. Why? Because I can relate to that 110%. So again, for certain individuals that have their own agenda and mixed emotions upon it, cool, that's fine. But you can't sit there and say it's a dog shit game and give it a fucking 3, 3.5, this, 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 and this. You feel what I'm saying? Because again, if you pay attention to the content of what was basically told through this game, you will understand why it ended the way it ended. But yes, I seriously give it a 9 out of 10. I enjoyed it. Hmm. Hmm. I'm not giving that a 9 out of 10. Oh, you know what I believe? Um, and this is why, me. Yeah, people. I know. What I believe, right? Because I didn't beat the game, so I don't want any spoilers. Um, I'm dead serious on that shit. <clears throat> Everybody's entitled to their opinions. <laughs> as long as you know it's your opinion, then I don't really give a fuck. If it's not the consensus of every gamer, it doesn't matter. And I'm talking about individuals that are fake, that believe that they own a PS4 when they don't. Individuals that believe that they... One second. <laughs> individuals that believe that you know they know about the game because they watch somebody live stream it um it's just so much shit there's some people that are playing part two and heard good things about part one but didn't experience it didn't play it did not play left behind don't understand the meaning of that don't understand the world uh that they're living in and they're just (laughs) Are giving out these fucking opinions and they don't know shit about what they're talking about. But you know, what? your opinions are your own, but they're not. You know, just just make sure that they're not facts. They're not what? based what? on the facts what? of everybody else that played it and their experience. 
Um, from what I'm, I'm having right now, I'm understanding shit that I already knew. This is me we're talking about. I understand stories. I watch a lot of anime, watch a lot of movies. I know how this shit goes most of the time. There's obviously about to be a twist. Uh, and I like that. I don't want to play a game or watch a movie that's just going to lead me down the same path as the other games or the other movies that I watch. It's boring as fuck when you know what's, the, what's about to happen. So, I'm really, really fucking hacked. Can't, can't wait. I don't know. I think I might play it tomorrow. Only got an hour left. Might play it. Might might play that shit right now. Probably. You don't think it's going to be another third one? No, no, no. Thank no. God. No, I don't think it's going to be a third one, but they could they could definitely keep this game alive if they wanted to. I'm not saying they will. If they wanted to, they could keep the game alive by um, telling somebody else's story. There's a lot of people in this universe that we probably have not met and to learn more about their stories if they want to. Uh, other than that, the multiplayer. I believe we'll be getting the multiplayer information in a little bit. It seems like I'm seeing a lot of developers putting out their info this week, today, because something else is happening in July, and I don't know. I can't put my finger on it. I know there's an Xbox event. No one gives a fuck about Ubisoft. Um, but there's, <laughs> PlayStation is definitely going to do something in July. And I think that a lot of people know they need to get their games out. I have saw one thing from these Japanese developers. They are completely skipping Xbox. They are not putting their games on there. The big three for Japanese developers are PlayStation, Nintendo, and PC. That's it. That's what they're doing. They're not messing with Xbox anymore. Which, which studio? This is a lot of Japanese developers. Oh yeah, they're Japanese know, RPGs. They're, yeah, they're not they're not thinking about uh, putting games on Xbox. You know, and what's the point? Unless unless Phil Spencer comes up to you with a suitcase of money, and they sit up there and they like, oh yeah, um, that's fucked up. To answer your question, uh, Spartan, mm -hmm. I believe there's gonna be there's gonna be a third one. No, Shut not. up, yellow. Oh, no. Okay, guys. Uh, I I want to cut this shit short because I actually want to play the game. Um, <laughs> I'm dead serious. I want to play just a little bit. I only got an hour. Uh, let me. I'm dead serious. Uh, let me go have a vote real quick. If you want it on YouTube, let me know. If you want it on Twitch, let me know. I guess you could put Y right? for YouTube and tw uh, T for Twitch. Nah, you better go stream my YouTube, man. Oh, I don't give a fuck where I stream. I want to play the game. You can watch or not watch. There we go. Uh, okay, I, I started out with why. We got, uh... Please, just... Let's hurry this shit up, man. <laughs> I want to play. Fuck that shit. Let me get... Let me just start it right now. Hmm. I'm loving this I'm water, though. I love they I put like so much swim. water in this game. Bro, when you go under the water, I was like, bro, they didn't do did better than Uncharted. I was like, bro, how the fuck did they do that? I couldn't believe it. I was like, they did better than what Uncharted. What I'm excited really. about, and I hate when uh, gamers do this, as soon as uh, they beat a game, they ask for a third installment uh, for their next project of that developer. I want this developer to explore more of their talents and make something new. I cannot wait to see their new IP. Well, I want them to explore more stories in this universe, because it's a big, big universe. There's a lot of states in the United States that have been affected. Um, so, obviously, I really want them to um, make another Last of Us, whether I beat the game yet or not. But I can't wait <laughs> to see what they're going to do next. Obviously, it has to be sci-fi. Yeah. That's what I'm hearing. There, there's a segment, what I'm perceiving, again, that could be taken way out of, you know, proportion, but there's a segment <coughs> to where you sit in a spaceship. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, In the, in the game, yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. I can't even so, say it. So, so is, that, is, that, is that possibly a teaser? A little, you know what I'm saying? A little, little first person, person sci-fi shooter that Naughty Dog is going to make for their next game. What up, Fatal? What's up, boys? 
Who's going to be the beer man? I believe it, because Savage Starlight seems like the obvious. I'm going to see y'all guys. Uh, I'm going to see y'all on YouTube. I, I see y'all. Let me, let me play this. What up? What up Fredo, baby? I see you, man. 